Welcome to Falcon's Ledge, I'm Ostringer, and today we're going to be reviewing the VKB MCGU grip. First and foremost, VKB sent me this grip for review without any strings attached. The opinions expressed in this video are my opinions about this hardware. I would, however, like to thank VKB for sending me this product for review. It really helps my channel to provide you with content. With all that said, let's get to what you came here for. MCG stands for Modern Combat Grip, and the U stands for Ultimate. This is an apt description considering that this is the ultimate version of VKB's MCG Grip. We'll go into why later. First, I'd like to talk about where the design inspiration of different sticks comes from. There are fantasy sticks that really don't come from anything specific. You can look at the Thrustmaster T16K Logitech X52 and the like, and these are all fantasy style sticks. They're direct replicas that come very close to being exact replicas of some aircraft, like the F-16 or F-18 stick from Wind Wing, or the Warthog or F-18 grip from Thrustmaster. Then there are sticks that are more loosely inspired by real sticks like the SCG, or Cosmosema, grip from VKB, which are inspired by Western sticks but don't really fully resemble anything specific. The MCG is somewhere in between the replica sticks and the inspired sticks. It is loosely based upon Eastern Bloc designs, similar in many ways to the SU-27 or MiG-29 series of fighters. But it also has similarities to other Western designs, such as the KA-50. In the end, it isn't really specifically a replica stick, but it is inspired by them. So what differentiates this grip from the MCG or SCG? What justifies the cost differences? The very first thing you'll notice picking this grip up is its weight. It's a hefty brother. Which reminds me of something that Nubifier once said. That if given a choice between any stick grip and asked which stick grip is the highest quality, most people who had no exposure in the high-end market of flight sticks would pick the Warthog simply because of its heft. He's not wrong. People instantly gravitate towards the heavier device as it feels more expensive. I can conclusively say that if the MCGU is present on that table, the Warthog would be dethroned as the most expensive feeling stick. The premium feel that the MCGU exudes goes beyond the weight and cold feel of the metal. Nearly every part of this grip feels premium, from the buttons to the hats to the rubber insert on the side of the grip. Let's talk about the features on this stick. The first thing you'll notice is a large face on the stick, which has two swappable hat switches and one non-swappable hat. These are all five-way, so four-way with push. You can swap one of the two hats with an analog stick, and that's your choice. You can do it on either one. This is a great feature if you want an additional axis in a space game, or if you want an axis for changing views and whatnot. There are also three buttons on the face that have swappable caps, so if you want it all gray or some other pattern. This stick also has a five-way hat on the side that is operated with your index finger. On the front, there are two triggers, a metal flip-down trigger that has a plethora of uses that are all configurable within the VKB config application. Currently, I have it set to three buttons, one when you flip up, one when you flip down, and one when the trigger is pulled. Underneath that, we have a dual stage trigger that has very tactile buttons. You can definitely feel when you've activated the two stages. The first stage activates about halfway down. The tactile feel is such that you can see it in the video when my finger activates the first stage. The second stage is activated at full trigger pull. Down below the triggers, there's a large metal brake lever that acts by default as an axis. This is great for use as a brake and is also modifiable in the VKB config application. The spring is adequately stiff enough to provide you with good feedback and accuracy. Above the brake, on the side, there's a small button, which for those of you who have small hands may be pretty difficult to reach. It should be said that this grip is certainly geared towards a bit larger of a hand. Above that, we have another five-way hat switch for your thumb. On the other side of the stick, there is an adjustable palm rest. One thing that you'll notice under some inspection comparison between the MCGU and the SCG is that the twist mechanism and mounting piece are made of metal as well. One of the reasons that this is, is that 
it's a much larger stick with a lot more weight. You can see how much larger this is than the SCG. This is one of the times where size does matter. Sorry guys. The additional height and weight of the stick means that you really should adjust your gimbal to work with the additional leverage that this stick will exert on the gimbal. This is particularly true when you have an extension like the 200 mm extension pictured. That much weight that far away from the fulcrum of the gimbal means that you'll need to add a lot more spring for proper centering. Luckily, VKB provides these larger springs with a gum biter gimbal. When flying with an extension, I found that a number 40A and a number 50A on both axes, and then having your clutch properly adjusted, accomplished the proper amount of resistance and damping. I re-greased my gunfighter clutches with Niogel 767A and removed the springs entirely, tightening the clutches again so that the stick would remain where I put it when I'm flying rotorcraft. Next, I'm going to talk about the ergonomics. While I do, I'll play a video in the background from DCS Apache. There are sticks on the market that do very well with ergonomics. Some examples of this would be the Winwing F-16 stick and the Warthog stick, because both are replicas of the F-16 and A-10 sticks respectively, that are quite well known for being very ergonomic. There are certainly others that are good too, some of this depends on your hands and your preferences. There are also sticks out there that sacrifice ergonomics or just flat out don't consider them much, instead going for a specific aesthetic like all of the Logitech sticks. This doesn't mean that you can't like these sticks, I mean, preference is a thing. And after all, people liked Fallout 76 and it was objectively terrible. When it comes to the MCGU, it has something for everyone in the ergonomics department, as long as you have hand size to handle it. Like I've said before, but just for reference, I have large hands with average length fingers. I wear an extra large glove, but the large size gloves seem to fit my fingers a bit better. Yeah, I'm odd. If you have small hands though, the MCGU is not really for you. The face of the grip is very large. If you have small hands reaching the rightmost buttons, and also the furthest left hat, and the pickle button also, may be difficult for you to reach without changing your grip. This may be alleviated for medium-sized hands in some way by adjusting the palm rest up. I have it set to the second highest position even with large hand, and the right buttons are still a bit of a reach for me, but it's not uncomfortable. In addition, the side button is just to the extent of what's comfortable. The grip fits the palm nicely and fills it out for a comfortable hold, whether you're flying with your fingertips or if you're in some of those iron grip moments in flight. The leverage we spoke about earlier makes it quite easy to create the scenario where you can control the aircraft with only a couple of fingers on the stick, even with the clutches engaged. I found it a lot easier to create this scenario using the MCGU with its heft compared to the SCG. If you're using a Monster Tech long mount, you may want to consider going to a 150mm extension, as the tall nature of the stick puts it a little higher than I like it. I can't rest my arm on my thigh like you really should when you're flying rotocraft. I might consider changing over to a floor mount once my cockpit is more far along. This stick is an excellent stick for the Apache module. It has more than enough buttons to perform all the actions expected from the cyclic and then some. Now let's transition to another game. This stick can be used with great effectiveness in Star Citizen and other space sims as well. I removed the extension and went to a direct mounting. In this scenario, I prefer number 40A springs and adjusted cams so that when the stick is released at full deflection, the stick quickly returns to the center without any rebound, or an extremely small amount of rebound. In Star Citizen, the abundant amount of buttons and functions that this stick has is extremely useful, though I really wish Star Citizen would allow multiple binds for a single action, or single directional binds like Activate Mining Mode and Deactivate Mining Mode, instead of just having a toggle function. This addition would allow us to use some of the amazing capabilities of this stick even further. So let's talk about the pros and cons. Remember, every device, even the great ones, will inevitably have some cons. For pros, let's start with its versatility. There are so many functions available on this device, the ability to swap out the switches for analog sticks, and when you add the different options and configurations available in the software, this stick will really do it all. Number two, 
definitely got to be the construction. This is a truly premium piece of hardware, and you can feel it from the very first time that you take a hold of it. The whole device just exudes high quality, from its engineering, to the buttons, to the hats, to the flip-down triggers, to the brake handle, all being metal. Number three, the support from VKB. There's not another vendor that I've seen so far that is so active on Discord helping their users. There's also a large number of other users that participate and help others. I will link a couple of Discord servers, including the official VKB Discord below. And now for the cons, or shall I say, con. The only real con that I can say about this stick without really nitpicking is that when I use this stick on the short base without the extension, the back edge of the palm rest is sharp and it tends to irritate my hand after long sessions. This does not occur in the center stick configuration. I sanded down the edges after the review and it improved the feel, but I didn't want to alter it before the review. So, do I think you should buy the MCGU? Well, if you're looking for a premium experience and a large amount of functionality, then absolutely. It's a great feeling stick that pairs in versatility with the strength of the Gunfighter Mark III base. Though it may be inspired by Eastern Bloc fighter sticks, it can easily be used to fly any aircraft or spacecraft without any real challenge. The stick certainly favors larger hands, so if you've got small hands, the SCG would probably suit you a bit better. Maybe VKB will come out with an SCGU in the future. If so, you'll certainly see it reviewed right here. I really hope you enjoyed this review. We're also doing a giveaway when we reach 2500 subs, which is coming up really soon. To enter, all you'll need to do is make a comment that is relevant to any of my videos in 2022. A random video will be chosen, and from the video's comments, I'll use a random comment selector to select one of your comments. Keep in mind that the comment needs to be relevant to the video, otherwise I'll just select another comment. Thank you all, and I really do appreciate your viewership and interaction. Fly safe, have fun, and of course, and as always, have a great day.